Are you a gangster? Yeah, me too. And what better way to show that than by having a Thug Life channel point reward where it cuts to a scene with the 8-bit glasses, the joint, and a Thug Life stamp, just like the memes. I'll tell you a better way by making it animated and perfectly aligned to your face every single time. That's how. Today we are going to set up a Thug Life channel point reward that is exactly like the meme in every way. Complete with the scene fading to black and white, the glasses and joint falling into place on your face. Oh, and don't forget to add the Thug Life stamp of your choosing into the mix. Let's start out with what we need to get this to work. First, we need to get our gangster level up to 11. Yeah, scold in. Okay, so for this to work, we need the NVIDIA AR SDK installed to our computer. And you can find the link to that in the description down below. And you can also grab the SDKs for audio and visual effects as well, if you would like to, which allows for things like noise cancellation, background removal, and other things. But you don't need them for this, so if you don't want to grab them, that's cool. For any that you do download, make sure to grab the ones that work for your GPU series. Whether it be a 20, 30, or 40 series, just make sure you grab the correct one. For those of you that did not watch my last video on creating a random censorship effect, this does not work with any GPU lower than a 20 series. And I am truly sorry for that. This also will not work with Streamlabs because Streamlabs is garbage and no one should be using it still. You will need two plugins installed to OBS, so in the description below you will also find the links for the Move plugin and the Freeze Filter plugin. The first of which will be used in connection with the AR SDK to track the glasses and joint to our faces, as well as to fade the scene from color to black and white. While the second will be used to freeze the screen for a few seconds, creating that perfect meme effect. To download both of these, follow the links in the description below and click download on the right hand side of the screen. Click the installer.exe file and then once it is downloaded, just run it to install them to the appropriate directories. Lastly, you will also want some music that will play while this happens, but I can't tell you what to use and therefore cannot tell you where to get it. Whatever you choose is good enough. Just make sure that any audio is only about 10 seconds long and gangster, real gangster. Now, with our prerequisites downloaded and installed, we can open up OBS. Create a new scene and name it Camera Nest, nested camera, or whatever. If you followed my censorship effect video or already have your camera in its own nest, just use that. Hello, editor me here. I thought I made it through a video without making any mistakes for once, but that would just be too easy and very unlike me. I failed to mention that you need to add your camera into this nest unless your camera is already in it. So the first thing you need to do is add your camera as a source to this scene if it doesn't already exist there. Okay, back to video recording me. Now while repping your set and doing real gangster shit, click the plus icon in the sources box to add an image. Locate the 8-bit glasses on your hard drive and select them. Wait, what? You don't have those? Or the joint? Or the thug life stamp? Well shit, let me hook you up with mine then. In my discord in the OBS help channel, you can find all three of those assets because that's what gangsters do. Alternatively, you can find your own because gangsters do their own thing. Okay, okay, enough gangster shit or we're never gonna get through this video. After you get the glasses added in, add two more image sources, one for the joint and one for the Thug Life stamp. Scale the glasses and joint to fit the size of your face and make the Thug Life stamp a decent size and place it wherever you think it looks best on your screen. And then lock it and then turn its visibility off. Now for all of the fun stuff. Right click your camera source and open the filters menu. Click the plus icon at the bottom to add a new effect filter. Find freeze in the list and click it. Then turn it off by clicking the eye next to it. 
Now click to add another filter and this time find color correction. Add it, leave it alone, leave it visible. For the last time, click that gangsta ass plus icon and add a move value filter. Rename it to fade to B and W. Then to the right where it says filter, change it to color correction. Move value type is single setting. And in the settings box, change the setting to saturation and the value to negative one. Tick the box for custom duration and set it to 1500 milliseconds. Set the end delay to 9000 milliseconds. Now duplicate this filter and change the name to return to color. Change the value in setting to zero and the custom duration to 100 milliseconds. Go back to the fade to BNW filter and scroll down to the bottom where it says next move. Change that to the return color filter. And you can now close this filter box. Right click the scene and open the filter menu for the scene. Move the menu over to the side so you can see your preview screen while you work and click the plus icon and add an NVIDIA AR move filter. Name it track glasses and then to the right set the action to move source, the scene to your camera scene and the source to your glasses. Change the property to position, the feature to landmark and the landmark property to position. If the landmark slider won't move, just close the filters menu and reopen it. Sometimes it just needs to be closed and reopened. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta shut them down, open up shop. Whoa! <laughs> okay, once the slider is adjustable, change the landmark to 28. Play with the values of the... Hello, editor me here again. Uh, yeah, so in a minute, I'm gonna explain the factors box. But what I'm really talking about are the difference boxes. Huge mistake. Changing the difference boxes adjusts the location of your image assets on your face. So every time I say factor box or field, just know that I'm actually talking about the difference boxes. Okay? I'm so sorry. I just can't record a video without making a mistake or 10. Apologies. All right, back to idiot me who recorded this and made all the mistakes. Two factors fields, if need be to get the glasses to sit properly over your eyes. Sometimes when you select the tracking point, it's off and then the, the factors fields change position up and down, left and right. You get it, you're good. You can also change the difference fields if they need to be adjusted. Maybe they don't. I can't give you exact values for these because this isn't a set science and if I were to even recreate this myself, I would get different values the second time than I got the first time around. So just play with them and find your sweet spots. Now turn the visibility of that filter off and duplicate it. Change the name to rotate glasses. To the right, change the property to rotation and the landmark property to rotation as well. Again, if the landmark sliders do not slide, close the menu and then reopen it. Once they slide, set the first landmark to 37 and the second one to 46. Set the confidence to five and the easing to 25. Turn the visibility of track glasses back on and your glasses should be locked to your eyes. Now turn them both off again and duplicate the track glasses one more time. And this time change the name to track joint. Change the source to joint and set the landmark to 66. I am hoping that by now I don't need to mention that if the slider doesn't move, you have to, yeah, that's right. Unthug it 
and thug it back in. Now you can play with the factor and difference fields to get it positioned the way you want. You can also turn off the filter by clicking the eye icon next to it to adjust the scale and rotation of the image at any point and then turn the filter back on to track it back into position. Now, make sure all of the filters are turned on and close the filters box. The glasses and joint should be following your face around as you move the way you want them to. Last thing we have to do inside of OBS is set up our show transitions to make the joint and glasses drop into place. Now seems like a terrible time to mention that I specifically created my 8-bit glasses and joint to have a large canvas area so that this works properly. But hey, I could have just not said anything at all, but I am. Called it thug love, baby. I also did mention that I put the assets for this in my Discord, so you're welcome twice. Okay, right-click the glasses source, go to show transition, and set it to swipe with a duration of 1,000 milliseconds. Set the direction to down and tick the box that says swipe in. Repeat this for the joint. For the Thug Life stamp, set it to fade with a duration of 700 milliseconds. Set the height transition for all three of them to fade with a duration of 300 milliseconds. And congratulations, that's the end of the OBS setup. Are you ready to make StreamerBot put all of this to work for you? Hell yeah, you are. Open up StreamerBot and wait, wait, what? Oh. Uh, apparently there's an import code in the description below with the entire setup already completed. Now that is f***ing gangster. Copy the import code in the description down below, then at the top of StreamerBot, click the import button and paste the code. Then click import. You're going to want to set up a channel point reward for this and then make it the trigger for it. You should make it cost bits. You should make it free. Triggered by chat. Whatever, just add a trigger. In the actions box, change all of the sub actions so that they are your scenes and your sources. There are comments above each one to help you not forget to do so. <laughs> you also need to add in a folder of 10 second song clips to play when this is triggered, where the play audio from folder sub action is. I made the ending real easy on you because if you followed the beginning of this tutorial and everything works, you deserved a little break. If you have made it this far and enjoyed the video, found it helpful, got your gangster maxed out to 11, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more OBS, streamer bot, and stream related content, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, requests for tutorials, or anything else, you can leave them in a comment down below, ask them in the Discord, or the best option is to come in while I am streaming on Twitch and ask them live, where I can help you out, then and there, one-on-one -on -one with no delays or guesswork. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yo, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a long time coming, and I'm glad I finally got here. I appreciate y'all, hope you were living well, and I hope to see you in the next video. And as always, take care, stay safe, and keep it gangster.